What's up guys? I'm just making this video to show this little project that I did uh, over the course of this quarantine period and I'm pretty happy about how it turned out so I'm just showing it to you guys um, so I made a little pond here in the backyard um, I wanted to make a bigger one but obviously like this paved uh, this paved floor is not gonna do it and it's gonna take a lot of time so I just did this little one and I'm actually quite happy to how it ended up um, I used uh, I used an extra stone that I have from my previous escapes and uh, put it up so it would look nice over there. I'm probably gonna add more wood in the front just to add a little natural feel to it. Um, also, I used some of the plants I have from other tanks. And now it's starting to grow immersed. See? I love that. And some most of these plants I got. Most of these plants I got it from a koi shop somewhere in Castro Valley. And I love it. Um, also the fishes that's in here are actually mosquito fishes. Um, so from what I read, they were actually originally introduced to eat mosquitoes, but turns out they would—they're really aggressive little fishes. So they would actually eat other species of smaller fishes uh, and other other insects. So they're kind of very. Um, invasive in a way and they reproduce really fast as well they're live bearers so but I put them here so that I can like place I can have fish in this pond for like the whole year because these guys are really hardy they are actually really really good at uh, surviving like low temperature and then high temperature uh, which is pretty much what California is um, but yeah I do enjoy this I do water I do change their water every every week as well um, I don't have a filter on this so I'm really really are, uh, relying on the plants to do that for, for me and let me just fix this real quick so I'm relying on the plants to do that for me um, this is a water celery right here, it has a really nice pink foliage and from what I read it's a really good filter plant so it's gonna suck up all the nitrates that the fishes and the soil will produce so I'm pretty happy about that. I would feed the fishes every, um, every other day but I try not to because I want them to like keep eating the insects and the mosquitoes in this tank or oh, in this pond um, yeah so like uh, how about you guys what little projects have you done over this quarantine period uh, write down on the comment section below and if you like this video please do subscribe and yeah fish out <laughs>